Ooh. What's up, guys? I got some crazy cats right here. Get it. 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 Ooh, it's gonna get you. They love that laser. Oh! <laughs> I didn't try to do that on purpose. Look at that cat. This one's like 12 months and that one's uh, six months. No, five months. That's Heinz, that's Princess. They love that laser. Get it! Get it. That's good exercise for him. Damn. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It's right there. It's on you now. It's on you. Get it, Heinz. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, you're gonna get dizzy. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Beans, it's Big Rob, 1872. This is my video response to the Budget Army channel. He wanted a um, he wanted a video about the rules and regulations of how you obtain a CCW in your state. So, a little channel update: We recently moved to uh, Arizona. When I started this channel, we were living in California, and it's a uh, it's a lot better over here. It's um, I got a whole bunch of stuff planned, carrying, um, shooting, shooting techniques, stuff that I learned. I'm going to share with other people through my interpretation. So hopefully that helps somebody else. So let's get this uh, video started. And okay, when I took the class, I went to Black Wolf Defense. He gave me this book right here, and um, the first thing we did is we we um, we, we, we were shooting. That's the first thing we were going to do. We went to the range, outdoor range. There's nine of us. And he watched each of us shoot individually to make sure we, we held the gun right. We were safe with the gun. And we, we had holsters. Most of us had holsters. So he wanted to make sure we drew, we, we drew the gun right. We reholstered it right. We were shooting right. Reset. Everything. Everything. Pointing the gun at the right direction. He was real, not a stickler, but... He was correct, and he understood that practice means permanent, and that I, I thank Matt for that, Matt from the Armory Guild for that um, that line right there. I'll never forget that, Matt. It makes a lot of sense. Practice does make permanent. So we went over that first thing we were, we were shooting. We had to shoot into a silhouette. It was at 15 feet, and, and the target where we were shooting to was the size of a grapefruit on the chest. It's like a little circle right there, and um, we had to get in the circle. And some people, they had a little machine gun spread, even though they weren't rapid firing. But then um, after you got that down, then you went to the next step, and you had to shoot into a smaller circle at the same amount of feet in the neck area, which um, I passed because all the practice that I've had, all the, the money I wasted on ammo, and all the stuff that I learned from YouTube, too. I learned... If it, the trigger reset, I learned from YouTube. I would shoot before, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Apparently I didn't. After, after um, having a better understanding, I, I knew before, I didn't know anything. I knew not to point at anybody, but uh, it made everything more understandable. So you do that test, you pass that, you pass the shooting part, then we would go over the rules. And um, it, took a, it took a while, it was, like, it was under, a little under eight hours. It wasn't you know, to exactly, and it wasn't over. Then we went over the rules just to make sure we understood. And um, he told us, you know, he said if um, he said if we did anything wrong, we shot somebody for the wrong reason, and we try to, and we told him we had a CCW, or if, if we have a CCW, that they would call him to make sure that that we passed the class. And so um, he just said, he said if you uh, have any questions or you need to know anything else, the the book's right there. He said just read it over and over again until you memorize it. 
he told us pretty much, he said, if, if, you, um, if you plan on shooting somebody, you might as well just empty all your pockets because you're going to go broke trying to keep yourself out of jail. And um, that's, that's about right. I don't plan on shooting somebody unless I have to. And uh, I'm not trying to <clears throat> give anybody I any ideas, but only a witness could say something. But um, yeah, that, that's about it right there. Arizona is a pretty much, it's a gun-friendly state. You can open carry, conceal carry without a permit. But there's certain federal laws that are, are intact that you have to know about. Like um, you can't go within a thousand feet of a school with a handgun if you don't have a CCW. And um, that's kind of, it's almost impossible for me because there's two schools right next to where I live. So I wouldn't even be able to leave the house without the CCW. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm also, um, what else do I have? Oh, the trigger reset. Just in case nobody knows, because I remember I went to the range the other day. We were trying out the Glock 23, the Gen 4. And um, these people, they were just spraying. It, the, the target wasn't even that far. It was real close, but they were spraying so far out. So I want to show you guys what the trigger reset is. Let's make sure it's clear. Clear. The trigger reset. Let me defuck this thing. It's pointing in the same direction. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, let me re angle myself. Yeah, the lights. That's, I'm using daylight right now. See the trigger reset. Make sure it's clear one more time. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy like that. I get, I'm not paranoid. Just, just being safe because it just makes sense. Listen for it. That's the reset right there. When you get that down, you'll be able to rapid fire real quick and be, and be real precise. You know what I mean. Hopefully you know what I mean. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed the cast too. Later.